The second trailer for the upcoming live-action Barbie movie starring Margot Robbie has just dropped, and it's full of surprises, humor, and heart. Let's take a closer look at some of the highlights and what they reveal about the plot and the characters. Hi, Barbie! Hi, Ken! Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Ken. Hi Ken. With the radio fast and goes cruising just as fast as she can now. I thought I might stay over tonight. Why? Because we're girlfriend boyfriend. To do what? I'm actually not sure. And she'll have fun. I'm coming with you. Did you bring your rollerblades? I literally go nowhere without them. Oh, looks like this beach was a little too much beach for you, Ken. If I wasn't severely injured, I would beat you off right now, Ken. I'll beat you off with you any day, Ken. Anyone who wants to beach him off has to beach me off first. I will beach both of you off at the same time. Beach both oh, of us off? Beach. Nobody's gonna beach anyone off. The trailer starts with Barbie Land, a heart-shaped island where everything is pink, everyone is happy, and everything is perfect. I love how they made everything look like it was actually made from plastic. Even when she steps out of her shoes, it looks like her feet are stuck that way, just like the dolls were. We see the beach where nobody's actually in the water. They're all fully dressed and clean. I love how Barbie has decided to take a satirical look at its own brand and poke fun at its own reputation as the aesthetically unnatural standards that it set for girls back in its heyday. This definitely has a Lego movie vibe where it pokes fun at itself and its own history. We see Ken in his artificially airbrushed chest and plastic shaped sand dune. The background here looks like the typical beach town like Santa Monica or Miami Beach. Directed by Greta Gerwig, which is famous for her work in other women-centric stories like Little Women, Lady Bird, and Jackie. This looks to be another powerful story about superficial beauty and the unnatural standards that women are expected to live up to. A brilliant twist on a franchise that normally wouldn't shine this type of light on itself. Also poking fun at its own naming scheme by adding the word Barbie at the end of every character. Except for Ken. Her car looks more like a parade float than a vehicle, since she barely even holds the steering wheel. I thought I might stay over tonight. Why? Because we're girlfriend boyfriend. To do what? I'm actually not sure. This is an obvious nod to the fact that both Barbie and Ken were both smooth down there, if you know what I mean. We get to see an epic battle sequence on the plastic beach where people are beating themselves with props from the toys like juggling pins, horses on a stick, lifesavers, you name it. You can even catch a pink Statue of Liberty in the background. It looks like at some point in the movie, Barbie actually leaves Barbie land and goes to the real world. And here we get to see the pink house, a white house replica that looks like an important document is being signed. This looks to be a fun, self-aware, sad attire movie that will pull on your heartstrings. With a star-studded cast and Greta at the helm, I personally can't wait to see it in theaters. Starring Margot Robbie as Barbie and Ryan Gosling as Ken and tons of other well-known names, this promises to be a movie nobody is really expecting. This is the Barbie movie you never knew you wanted, full of puns and lack of self-awareness. The Barbie movie will hit theaters on July 21st, and we're here for it. Did we miss any Easter eggs or nods to the toys? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, hit that like button and get subscribed for more videos like this one. Until next time, this is Anthony for Blue Box Nerd signing out. Stay nerdy. <laughs>